Okay, this video is going to be a bit of an experiment. We all know the iceberg thing has been blowing up and it single-handedly pretty much made this channel. So I'm interested to see how many views this video will get. Keep in mind that you clicked on this video. You in your mind must have gone, mm, banana iceberg, sure, why not? <laughs> like, this is a banana iceberg chart. Probably the darkest thing I've done yet. I'm sure you dear viewers are watching this with bated breath. What could be at the bottom? How deep does it go? Well, here we go. This is the banana iceberg chart. Here we have the first section. Banana is yellow. I think we all know that this is a liberal myth. Um, bananas are in fact green before turning yellow and eventually brown and black. The real reason for this is chlorophyll and like the hue it looks on bananas or something, but uh, that's as much as I understand from doing 40 seconds of research. Let's move on. Bananas taste good. No. I agree. Banana eaten by monkey. I wasn't aware of this actually, it's quite an obscure fact. Let me know if you knew that monkeys ate bananas in the comment section because I certainly didn't. Banana must be peeled. Wait, really? Shit. Shit, this is another one I didn't know. I've just been eating bananas with the peel my entire life. That uh, makes sense why I got some weird looks at the Philippines Banana Festival. Fuck. Spiders live in bananas. Yeah, I mean, they do sometimes. Very rarely, but uh, a good few people have found spiders inside their bananas. So good luck living with that information. Banana phone. I used to do this one all the time as a child. I used to pretend that my banana was a phone before I ate it with the peel. Lad, I guess we all live the same childhood, huh? Banana bread. I had to research what this was. Apparently it's some sort of soy boy liberal cuck way of making cake. Uh, what a strange way to cook. People have really got way too much time on their hands these days. Bananas are berries. Uh, this is one of those fun facts you see online all the time, but yeah, bananas are in fact berries. Raspberries are not. It's down to a technicality, by which I mean the way, I think it's like the way bananas reproduce. But yeah, fruit is wild, right? <laughs> Banana green. Yes. yes the real way to peel a banana. Okay, uh, we don't need to bring up the fact that I didn't know how to peel bananas two minutes ago, but this is the new way to peel a banana. You might not have seen it before, so let's just admire it. Okay, on to the next one. Banana milk is some sort of delicacy originating in the far lands of East Asia. This secret of banana has been a mystery to the West man for many moons, but rumor has it that you can turn a banana into some sort of milked shake. This exotic drink eludes me to this day, but I might do an update video if I ever find out the intricacies of this conspiracy theory. Let's think of the most obscure things that English has a word for. I'm talking like the aglet being the thing at the end of your shoelace. Thank you, Phineas and Fur. I'm talking the tittle being the dot of an eye. You know that black thing at the bottom of a banana? That, my dear friends, is the bananus. The banana tree is not a tree, is what it says, it's, it's a plant, and while it's called a tree, apparently to Google, it's something closer to like ginger, but it's not a tree, it's a herb. Did you know that you can turn your banana into a gun using only the tool of your imagination? Donkey Kong did just that in this picture, uh, I think some Donkey Kong games he also has a real gun and shoots bananas, but uh, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> banana seeds don't exist, or at least I don't think, from what I've interpreted, they have like three genes instead of two and they reproduce using those black parts inside bananas that you might find. 95 banana poisoning might seem like some sort of big mass poisoning back in 1995, but instead it's actually to do with the potassium inside a banana. Apparently, if you eat 95 in one sitting, or possibly in a short space of time, my source doesn't really elaborate like the time frame, you die. So if you want to go on a banana spree, please have no more than 94. And I mean that seriously. Please do not have any more than 94 bananas in one go. The Central American Banana Wars is a long and complicated history. So I'll leave a link in the description for anyone that wants to research it further. But to summarize, Spain gives up some of its overseas territories to the USA. The USA conduct military intervention in Cuba, Panama, Honduras, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, etc. And big banana companies such as the Picaro Brothers, United Fruit Company and QML, fruit company essentially kill and take over Latin America and make everyone work for them while exporting bananas to the USA and getting rich. Okay, I need to admit something. For the most part, I hate a lot of art these days. This is the story of a banana that got taped to a wall at an art expedition. It goes like this. Artist tapes banana to a wall. They put a $120,000 price tag on it. $120,000! However, there was a chad amongst our ranks, known as David Datuna, a fellow artist, who took the $120,000 banana from the wall and ate it. 
So my hat's go off to you, good sir. For all joking aside though, the banana massacre was a horrible affair. In 1928 in Colombia, a group of banana farmers striked against United Fruit Company in an attempt to gain some dignified working conditions. After they failed to come to an agreement, President Miguel Abadia Mendez sent in the Colombian army and they killed somewhere between 100 and 2,000 protesters. Anyways, grilled banana exists and monkeys don't eat bananas in the wild at least not the ones that we know and love this is kind of something that you don't really consider but the bananas that we have are very much genetically modified for human consumption and they're just not found in the wild they're found on plantations and stuff so yeah wild monkeys don't actually eat bananas banana republics i've kind of touched on big banana companies shit working conditions taking over honduras i'll leave a link to salmonella's video in the description the real price of bananas is the harrowing fact that working on banana farms is horrible for people's health i'm also going to link a documentary in the description because not only is it hard labor for low pay but also the chemicals that these workers come into contact with can be very damaging to the body so it's either figs or bananas that are the first cultivated fruit different searches have different answers for this but either way bananas originated in southeast asia and the south pacific somewhere between 8000 and 5000 bc so a very long time ago peanut butter jelly time banana if you don't know this banana or you were born after this video came out please respectfully off this channel you're too young i'm a banana if you like this video please respectfully fuck off this channel you have a shit taste anision please yeah apparently bananas are going extinct because isn't everything else like why the fuck not bananas why the fuck not at this point i'm just like fuck it. everything's going extinct bananas going extinct yeah Humans share a ton of DNA with bananas. Uh, this is another fun fact that you see online all the time, that apparently we do share somewhere around 50% of the same genes with bananas, but that's also like a lot of plants. More interestingly to me, however, is that we share about 85% with mice, which is one of the reasons why they're used a lot in lab experiments. Banana causes plague at night is something I just couldn't find online and I'm stumped. So if you know what this might be referring to, please let me know in the comments. The rhino banana is just a cool type of banana. It can grow to a height of 12 to 20 feet. So about two to four times the size of a standard human. They're quite green and they can be eaten cooked or raw. So one day I might actually try and get my hands on one because I mean, that thing would be huge. The banana curve ban was a stupid rule made by the EU that banned abnormally curved bananas back in the day. Apparently this is a Euro myth, but as you can likely tell from my accent, I wouldn't know because I'm not in the EU. So yeah, I'm, I'm not really too sure if it is or isn't true, but it would be funny if you banned abnormally curved bananas. <laughs> the ballistics of a banana is just another one that's hard to research. All I found is a cocktail called the ballistic banana, which if you're of legal drinking age, I'll let you know. Even if you're not, I'm going to discuss it anyway. One ounce of vodka, one ounce of 99 bananas, banana schnapps, and a splash of grenadine. Make sure they're all chilled and combine in a cocktail glass, it should look something like this. Scale up depending on the size. This is the final entry, what we've been waiting for all along. Bananas are actually slippery. Many people have laughed at the hilarious hijinks of cartoon characters in the past where people slip on a banana peel. What's a loser, they think? I'd never slip on a banana. They actually are slippery. Tens of people slip on banana peels each year. So please, before testing out if banana peels are actually slippery, don't. Stay safe. Protect the NHS from banana-related injuries. And that's it from me. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's been subscribing recently. My sub count just keeps going up and up. It's absolutely mad. Um, but yeah, if you have any more suggestions, please let me know because I'm only 10 videos in and I'm already out of ideas. Thank you for watching.